welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I recreated Zendaya's 2017 MTV Movie and TV Awards look. I think Zendaya is a great role model for all women, especially young girls. She is a style and fashion icon, and I really think she stood out during the award show with that green plunging neckline gown and matching eyes. It was literally perfection. She is also one of the sweetest and most down-to-earth girls that I have ever met. So you could wear this look during the spring and summer as well, and if you want to see how to achieve this green shimmery eye look inspired by Miss Zendaya, please keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, thumbs up, hit that bell down below if you want to get notifications whenever I post a new video, all that good stuff, and let's get started. Priming with the OG MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot, and I'm using a small brush to apply this. It's a buffing brush, and I find that this brush distributes the product nicely. And then setting with my translucent pressed powder. Taking Indie from the Tarte Tardis Pro palette first and taking this slightly above the crease. And just windshield wiper motions. Sometimes I like to blend in small circular motions as well. I like that this shade isn't too warm. It's literally the perfect transition shade for this look. Now taking Makeup Geek's Foiled Shadow Jester, this is the star of the show. I'm sweeping this over the entire lid with a Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow Brush. And with that same brush, I like to slightly blend upwards into the crease a little bit, as you can see. I am obsessed with this color. With Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach, this is going to be the transition shade into the crease shade. I noticed Zendaya had more of a cool toned crease, and this color is perfect. Look at how blended that looks. And you just want to go back in with the first crease brush to do some more blending, of course. With Chic from the Tardis palette, I'm sweeping this over the edges of the crease, but only on the outer area. I want to keep that cool tone crease towards the inner brow bone, so again, I'm focusing the shade just on the outer part. Using Jouer's Ice Highlighter for my brow bone, Zendaya definitely had a shimmery highlight, so just use anything that has a slight sheen. This is actually one of my favorite highlights of all time. This is just an extra step, but you totally don't have to do it. I wanted more of a pop on the lid, so I took Makeup Geek's Fantasy and added it right on the center. On to Winged Liner. I use Makeup Geek's Immortal Gel Liner. This is by far my favorite formula of gel liner. It never dries out in the pot. It's creamy, yet when it dries, it doesn't budge. And I'm doing a wing that's not necessarily a baby wing, not super dramatic either, it's just right in the middle. I'm using a Makeup Geek Bent Liner Brush. This is the best liner brush, in my opinion. Onto mascara. I'm using one that I got during my Hong Kong trip and it has a comb wand. I believe they have the equivalent here called the Falsies Push Up Angel from Maybelline. For brows, I'm using none other than my Precisely My Brow Pencil in number two from Benefit. Zendaya has the most beautifully shaped brows. They're always on point and she definitely makes them thicker. So that's what I'm going to do. Hers are a little more rounded, which I tried to do as well, but of course, just work with what you've got. For foundation, I use the Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade Ivory. I had already primed my face off camera. I did a few swipes on my face and then blended it in with my handy dandy beauty blender. Some people say it's better to use a brush with foundation sticks, but I personally think that using a beauty blender with this foundation makes it look more natural and less cakey, but I guess it depends on how much coverage you want. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer for my under eyes. Maybelline Age Rewind down the center of my nose. I know I like to use two different concealers. I haven't used the Too Faced concealer in a while and I forgot how much I love it. Of course, blending with the tip of the Beauty Blender. P.S. I have tried so many different beauty sponges and I still go back to the original Beauty Blender. Nothing compares to it. 
Setting my under eyes and nose with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. No baking today, I'm just using a soft tulip brush. I'm setting the rest of my face with my Holy Grail powder, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Medium Plus. I like using Medium Plus because it adds a little bit of color to my face. It just adds some dimension while setting my foundation. Locking those brows in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Zendaya has the brushed up brows, so that's how I try to set the base of my brows. Back to Jester, and this is the only shade we are putting on our lower lash line. She didn't smoke it out too low, so really try to keep it right at the base of the lashes. Taking that same Jouer Eyes Highlighter and popping that on the inner corners. For mascara, I'm first adding Maybelline's Big Shot. This adds great volume to my lower lashes. I wiggle at the base of the lashes to really make them full. And then I layer the False Fiber Mascara from L'Oreal to add length. The great thing about this duo is that it doesn't transfer to my under eyes. They are also both waterproof. Using Hoola Light for my contour, Zendaya had a very subtle, natural contour, so using the shade would really replicate that, if you're my skin tone. If you're a Zendaya skin tone, I'd say use the original Hoola. This highlight definitely got a lot of use in this look. Jouer's Eyes Highlighter just on the top of the cheekbones. Taking California for my blush, I need to stock up on this blush because it legitimately is my favorite blush right now. It's going to be really hard to replace. With Hoola, I took this right on the jawline. On to lashes. I actually can't tell if Zendaya had lashes on, but I thought this pair would fit the look because they're really natural and wispy. These are the Neverland Lashes from House of Lashes. Very easy to apply and the band is thin. Line your lips with any nude liner. This one is from Sephora and make sure to fill your lips in also. This just ensures that when your lip gloss comes off, you'll still have that lip liner base on. I used three lip products to get Zendaya's perfect nude lips, so I'm going to take Daddy First from Jeffree Star. I thought it was a little too brown, so I added Anastasia's Pure Hollywood right on top. To complete the look, I added Lucy Pompey's Lip Batter in Go Go. This is a plumping lip gloss and balm in one. And that is the finished look. I think this look is perfect for those of you who have hazel or brown eyes because it's really going to make them pop. So I hope you liked this Zendaya inspired makeup look. I really enjoy recreating celebrity looks, so if you do have any requests, be sure to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next one.